In 2016, um, there was a Zika outbreak in South America and the World Health Organization declared a public health emergency and so there was lots of attention and lots of um, research going into it at that, at that point. Um, but now, although the epidemic is still continuing, um, the focus has moved elsewhere. So the research is just as vital as it was, but the attention at the moment isn't as high as it was before. There's currently no treatment or vaccine available. In adults, it mostly causes a self-limiting disease, but infections in pregnancy can have devastating consequences um, for the baby and for mum. It causes um, problems in um, fetal development, and particularly in development of the fetal brain, and that causes something called microcephaly, which is a small head. We think that what the cause might be um, a difference in the way that um, developing brain cells uh, fight off viruses. And so we're focusing on um, the basics of the immune system called the innate immune system to see whether that could be the cause of the poor brain development that we see in babies. An additional reason to, to choose this field is because there are already drugs available that can um, modulate this uh, basic immune system um, and so that would speed up treatment development. I have parents who are both GPs and so I decided early on that I didn't want to do medicine um, but just before the application deadline in sixth form, I did some work experience to make sure that I didn't want to do this. Uh, and I followed a consultant microbiologist um, for a week. And that was really insightful, um, both into what the day-to-day -day working lives of doctors are um, and the immense impact the work of medicine has um, on patients' lives. And so I changed my mind and was lucky enough to get a place at UCL to study medicine. I recently secured an academic clinical fellowship in infectious diseases and it's as part of that that I'm doing research into Zika virus, which the BMA Lift Into Research Grant is kindly helping to fund. So we were looking for funders to, to fund some of this research, um, and the BMA was one of our preferred options. Um, they have a very broad spectrum of research that they fund, and that was important because this is a very niche area um, which is underfunded currently. The application was much less intimidating than I anticipated, um, particularly as a doctor and not as a um, scientist. Um, I found it um, very straightforward and easy to do and I was surprised but delighted to find out that I had got the grant. It's very difficult to get funding as a, as a young researcher and as a junior doctor and so it's these small project grants such as the BMA grant which really mean that you can get a foot on the ladder of the research field that you're interested in and hopefully use that as a basis to progress. At the moment, research funding is relatively scarce, which actually means that even small amounts of money can have a significant impact because all the treatments and um, diagnostic tests that we can offer patients um, are based on research which has happened in the past. And the research that is happening now and is being funded now um, will be the treatments and the tests um, which help patients in the future.